welcome back everyone. Got some more 5, 7 by 28 millimeter testing today. What you see in front of you is Elite Ammunition's cream of the crop T6B. This is a hard anodized, all copper, pretty hard copper, pre-fragmented round. We're going to run a couple across the chronograph in the PS90 and the 5.7. I'm sorry I still don't have my Form 1 back. Thanks a lot ATF. Still waiting on that. It's about 40 degrees outside today. Pro Chrono Pal Chrono is always overcast. It is working. Once we've completed the chronograph, we will fire a few rounds in a gel from the 5.7. I have a couple barriers I think you'll like today. We'll shoot the 4.75 inch 5.7 first. Twenty one oh nine, twenty eighty six, twenty eighty nine, and now our PS ninety. Twenty five, twenty five. 24, 46, 25, 39. All right, we have a fresh 6 by 6 by 16, 10% clear ballistics gel block down there, calibrated around 3 and a quarter at 590. We'll take one shot out of the 57 and bare gel. Then we'll throw some level 3A in front of it, and then I think I have one more barrier I think you'll like to see today. If we don't get a chronograph reading, averages were taken on the same day in the prior shots. Velocity was 20.67. Never fails, I always hit the calibration BB. Got nice disruption there. We penetrate the full 16 inches of the block and our bullet is in the first milk jug. Take a shot from the top here. That is a very wide wound channel. Although it did take a little bit of travel, almost six inches to start that disruption. You can see that it's angling out towards the left of the block there. Here is our recovered round. You can see where I hit the calibration BB on that side, but it's still one piece. I know in prior testing, these really don't fragment unless you hit harder targets first, like bone. Let's see what happens when we throw the 3A panel in front of it. Our panel for testing today is a 6x8 level 3A armor wear. It's produced this year. Has good NIJ ratings. We'll see how it holds up to the 5.7. The panel is in front of the clear ballistics gel, so let's see what's going to happen. Velocity was 21, 16. There was our shot right where we wanted it to be. There is a pass through there. Now bear in mind, level 3A is not rated for 5.7, especially some of these more specialty rounds. Wound track right here is our the wound track right here is our penetration. We actually have pretty good upset in the first inch and a half there this time. You can see some of the uh, Kevlar being drug in there. Here's the cool thing about 5.7 since it likes to tumble. It takes really weird bullet pass 
there's our bullet right there almost 16 inches of penetration bullet is backwards cool just side shot from here this one in the foreground and then it kind of tapers up cool all right for this shot we have two 22 gauge pieces of sheet metal affixed to this fixture I couldn't find 20 gauge so short notice this should work or give us a decent representation then 18 inches back here is our gel block we're gonna try to hit this thing I took one test shot already it seemed to do pretty good so let's take our shot sorry for having to bend down this is the tallest table I got that I could get 18 inches out of Velocity was 21.33. Look at that instant wound path pretty much right in the block settles down though it dives down again and starts to go up right around right around 12 and a half 13 ish mark impressive cool here's a bottom down shot looks like it gets out of the gel a little bit right there looks like it maybe yeah a little tearing right there and there's our round backwards. You got some sheet metal on there. We'll have to dig that out. All right, since T6B didn't seem to have any trouble penetrating the sheet metal and then going at least 12 and a half, 13 inches in gel, let's see what happens when we do sheet metal plus 3A in the gel. Velocity was 21.03. Here's our entrance. You can see that's all along a hole. You can probably guess what happened. No pass through. I can feel a bullet in there. We'll have to see if we can dig it out of this vest. But no pass through, no penetration on the gel. Overall, I think those are pretty good results from the T6B. We had good penetration through all three barriers, the clear gel, the level 3A panel and the sheet metal. I still hold the T6B in one of my top spots for defensive ammunition for the 5.7. I'm still testing Elite's new brass. I'm not sure what was going on there. I had a lot of failure to extracts where the looked like the gun wasn't even cycling far enough to throw the spent casing out of the 5.7. The PS90 had a couple of issues that looked like they were related to the rim size of their new brass. So I think Elite's going to need a little more testing on their side for their brass, but things are looking positive and as we've mentioned before in the, in the first video about their brass is, hey, it's another source for 5.7 brass. If you guys like the inclusion of the sheet metal test here, let me know and I'll start trying to work that into some of our newer videos that we take for different testing. Thanks again to Elite Ammunition for providing us with this ammunition and thanks to you all for watching. Until next time, take it easy everybody.